All right, here we're going to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector of a segment. So just sketch myself a little picture here. Pretend that's my segment. I want the equation of, oh, excellent drawing, the perpendicular bisector of that segment. So we're going to have to do a couple of things. We're going to have to find the slope of this original segment, find its slope, take the negative reciprocal of it so we can find the slope of the perpendicular line. And then we need to find the midpoint coordinates because our new line's not going to go through either of those two endpoints. It's got to go through the midpoint. And then throw it all together to find the equation of the line. So step number one, let's find some slope. So change in y, how about 13 minus a negative, so plus 8 over, going in the same order, negative 2 minus 5. So on top I have 21 over negative 7, which is negative 3. All right, so that's not actually the slope that I want. Of course, that's the slope of this segment. I want the slope of the perpendicular line. So I have to take the negative reciprocal of that, which is positive 1 third. All right, so there's the slope. Now I can't use either of those two points to write in the equation. I have to find the midpoint between those two points. So midpoint step number two. So midpoint formula is add up the x's and divide by 2, and then add up the y's, divide by 2. 5 plus negative 2 over 2, and negative 8 plus 13 over 2. Simplifying here, I'd have 3 halves, and over here I'd have 5 halves. And let's just go ahead and keep it as a fraction, because... At the very, very end, um, we have to put it in standard form. I want to get rid of the fractions, not have to worry about decimals. So finally, step number three, I'm going to write the equation. So again, we're going to start with point slope form. And the only point that we get to use is this midpoint. We don't get to use either one of those two original points. So y minus 5 halves equals our slope, which is 1 third times x minus 3 halves. And now let's simplify. y minus 5 halves, we'll distribute the 1 third through. 1 third x minus, and now this 3 will cancel with this 3, leaving me with just 1 half. And since I have a common denominator with the two constants here, it's just as easy just to add the 5 halves over here before I get rid of the fractions. So I'm going to have y mom equals 1 third x. Add these two fractions together, that's going to give me 4 halves, which is plus 2. So what form is this equation in? That's right, that's in slope-intercept form but we want it in standard form. Standard form is ax plus by equals c with no fractions. So let's multiply this times 3 to get rid of the fractions. 3y equals x plus 6. Subtracts the x over, negative x plus 3y equals 6. Or change all the signs, make this x minus 3y equals negative 6. All right, and it only takes a second to check, but remember the only one that we get to check is the 3 halves comma 5 halves. So I'll let those of you at home go ahead and check that. Bye for now.